So today I'm going to be filming a very exciting video. Today I'm going to be introducing my new pet. So if none of you guys have been on my channel, I have a bird called Charlie. This is not Charlie. Definitely not Charlie. If you watch any of my past videos, I'll insert a photo of what Charlie looks like here because he's very antisocial and doesn't like coming over this side of my bedroom. But this is Snowy and this is my little baby. You're going to make a lot of noise, aren't you? So yes, this is my birdie. His name is Snowy. Before I get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow my social media right there, Michaela J218. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So I have compiled a list of things that I want to talk about uh, in this video. Just general facts about Snowy, like why we got him, like when we got him, you know, stuff like that. So Hayden got Snowy for me for our two-year anniversary. It hasn't come yet but I couldn't wait any longer and I wanted a birdie. Originally we were going to get a dog but we're still living in my parents home for a couple more months. We decided to get something easy. If Oh my god if only you could see Charlie was just dancing in front of the mirror looking at himself. Snowy is very tame if you know anything about cockatiels you can tell that he's very young. He is a few months old I wanted to get a really young one. If you know anything about Charlie, I don't think I made a video with Charlie um, because he's camera shy and he hates cameras. Charlie is approximately eight or nine years old. Like, he's an old boy. He's, he's an oldie. <laughs> and Snowy is only a few months old. Charlie has never been with any form of cockatiel since he was born. So Snowy coming into the family was like a huge shock. So the reason I wanted to get a younger bird was so we had more time to tame him more. I specifically got a hand-raised cockatiel. I spent, well Hayden spent the extra money to get a hand hand raised cockatiel. So the next thing I want to talk about is where we got him from. We got him from the Gillies Plains. We just got him from which is a suburb in which is just a suburb in the city. So yeah we got him from a small suburb in Adelaide. So pretty much we got him from Adelaide. Um just a bird breeder. I will post screenshots of like his gum tree if you want to buy a cockatiel. He was really helpful. He was like really nice and really easy to work with. Like I told him what I wanted and he sent me photos and we organized the time to get snowy so snowy was a hundred and twenty dollars so that is a lot of money like you can get a dog for that much so yeah we spent the extra money for a bird that was more tamed he the seller that we got him from his name was Jack he had birds that were like $80. The only problem with those ones is that they required a bit more handling and you know if I had the time for that which I do have the time I just don't have the will <laughs> I guess so we paid a little bit extra for snowy originally I was going to get a like dark grey like smoky cockatiel but he the seller accidentally sold it <laughs> um, the one that I wanted and I wasn't expecting him to hold it for me because like how was he supposed to know that I was actually gonna come get the bird but he sent me photos of snowy and I was like yes I want that one <laughs> so yeah he was $120 because he was a tame cockatiel like there are like $20 cockatiel available the only problem with those is that like they're like Avery birds and as you can tell I wanted a bird that could hop on my finger and sit on my shoulder you know the same kind of bird like Charlie for example this is like really hard to explain I'm sorry I haven't filmed in like three weeks I don't know what I'm doing I didn't tell my parents until I was just like hey mom and dad come in my room they already figured out what was happening. And yeah, my dad instantly fell in love because he likes birds. So the last thing I want to talk about is the future that I have with more birds. Cockatiels live up to 15 to 20 years. So Charlie has about a minimum of five years left. He's a very healthy looking bird. Like I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. But there is a big age gap between Snowy and Charlie. So when Charlie does pass, which is very depressing and I don't want to cry because I love him a lot. <laughs> I will be getting obviously more birds in the future because Snowy's always been around someone so. So yeah that pretty much concludes this video. I'm sorry if this was like a ramble like you couldn't understand what I was saying. I'll probably be editing this video and be like why couldn't I just talk normally? <laughs> but yeah I haven't filmed in ages and I really wanted to introduce Snowy while he was fresh to the family and maybe in like a year to two years or something I can do like a follow-up video 
see if he's changed, see if he still happily sits on my shoulder like this, because Charlie has his moments where he's like, yeah, I want to sit on your shoulder, and then he's also like, fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully you don't follow in his footsteps, because, like, that'd be depressing. But, yeah, that concludes this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be getting back. Did I really fall again? If you want to see more videos like this, then... Didn't I just say that? Follow my social media right there, MichaelaJ218, and yeah, I'm gonna go now, so bye. Bye bye, Snowy. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>